Hi, and welcome to another tutorial with the artistic pair. We're just going to get started today by colouring in these lemons with watercolours. I have them here on my materials, my resolute watercolour set, which is off to the side. Uh, my paper, which already has a sketch of lemons and the lemon branch. My plated part brushes and other watercolour brushes and my two jars of clean water. So let's get started. I'm just going to set up my paints and just wetting the brush before we begin. And I'm actually going to start off with doing a wash background using this light blue. <laughs> And before we do that, I'm going to use my Wizard U watercolour brush and just go over the background of the paper with the blue. Now, I've already gone over the paper with some water, so the paper is already wet. So I'm using a wet on wet technique. So we're just going to continue on here, and why I do this, uh, Please hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and please also do hit the like button because that will really help me out. Please also leave me a comment down below on any watercolour tutorials you would like to see me do next or any other art tutorials. And we'll just continue on painting this background and then after we've done this background I'll actually let it dry before I continue on painting. So as you can see here you can still slightly see the pencil marks behind the background and that's a good thing we actually need those there so we can see to colour the lemons. So I'm just going to grab my Plain and Bright watercolour brush. These are professional brushes, they're available on Etsy and I do have a review for them on my channel and that review also comes with a cherry blossom and Mount Fuji watercolour tutorial. So I'm just grabbing my lemon yellow here out of my Wesley Cotman watercolour set and we're just going to get started painting those lemons. And so just dipping my brush into the water and I'm going to be using circular motions on the lemons. Just trying to blend it out all evenly. So with these lemons you might have to do a couple of coats just because we got that background. If you would like me to do a tutorial on how to draw lemons and a lemon branch, please let me know down in the comments below and hopefully I can do that for you. However, you can find reference photos on Google and use those as part of your painting, which is basically what I have done. However, I actually took reference from two different photos and that's how I came up with my completed drawing because I wanted a lemon folly and there was a lot, a lot of lemon branches to reference off with the lemon folly so I actually took two of them. So now I'm just going in with a light green for the leaves on the branch and I'm going to let those lemons dry and go back over them for another coat and then I will work on the final details after the final coat has dried over the base coat. And that's just so that I can get really pigmented colours. So I'm just going to continue on working on the knee. And uh, as I'm picking up my paint, I am cleaning my brush and then picking up clean water as I go. Just so that I can have control over how much water goes into the paint. Paint. 
please do make sure that you check out the description box down below. I have links there to my Instagram account where you can see my other artworks. I also have listed the materials I am using and other useful information that you might need. So I am now just going to start working on the second coat for these lemons. And while I do this I am also trying to work out my light source. And then once I've worked out my light source I will go over the lemons in a darker yellow. And I am again just using circular motions just so that I have control over the brush stroke. So after I've done this second coat for the lemons, I will let them dry and then I'll go in and do the finer details. And there's, by finer details, I mean the light source and the shadows. So as you can see here, we're just continue working on with the Levels. So now I'm just going to finish off with the leaves that I didn't do earlier and just fixing up any of the other little tiny bits with the light green that I have here in my Wizard Little Copper Watercolor set. While I'm doing these leaves, I'm just using really short strokes so that I can Again, have control over the brush stroke seat on the paper. And sometimes I am switching to the same circular motion that I used on the lemons. So I'm just going to start off doing the branch now for our lemon branch and I'm just going to use this medium brown here, my Wizard Newton Watercolor Copper set. And I will just be using a backward forward stroke, just working from the bottom of the branch upwards. As you can see here. And I've actually waited for the leaves to dry so that the colours won't bleed. And just making sure we get the little bits that go in between the leaves.
So I now I'm just going to grab my white and fill in the flower at the top again. Now just going in for a yellow and this is a darker yellow from the yellow and I'm going to actually start working on the shadows of the lemons and as I am working with the shadows I am bubbling out with the lemon yellow as I go and as you can see here, I am just concentrating on the outer edges of the lemon. And we're just going to continue on working on the shadow parts of the lemons. Have you checked out my channel page yet? If not, you should because there are playlists in there that you might be interested in. For example, I have a watercolor tutorial playlist and other art tutorials as well as art reviews. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you are kept up to date with all my art videos. Please also hit the bell notification button so that you do not miss a video. I am currently working on a watercolour tutorial series. So if there's something that you are interested in, please hit subscribe and the bell button down below or on my channel page. So I'm now just grabbing a finer brush just because I want to do some finer detail works on the watercolours and I just let the painting dry before I go on to this step and just dipping the brush into my water and I'm just grabbing out a darker green so I could do some shadowing and finer details on the leaves such as the lines in the middle. And I will also be using this darker green to blend into the lighter green in the background. As you can see here, I'm just starting to work out on the shadowing on the edges of the leaves. So I'll just use a bit of scrap paper just to pick up a bit of the green that is bleeded onto the lemon. You could also use paper towel. I am just using what I had on hand at the time. And just continue on with the finer details using that smaller brush. Now this is actually an acrylic brush that I am working with. Uh, you can actually use acrylic brushes with watercolours, however I do recommend using watercolour brushes if you have them, it's just that I am waiting on more watercolour brushes to come to help expand my set a little bit as I used to work with acrylic brushes and I already have a full set of acrylic brushes. I just chose to use this one 
because like I said you can actually use acrylic brushes for watercolors just make sure they're really clean before you use them uh, however I would advise not using all brushes with watercolors so we're just going to continue on working on the details of the leaves again first you can see on our light source and if you notice that yellow there on that one leaf, I will be fixing up that up later. I am just waiting for it to dry a little bit, then I'll pick it up. And then I will go over it with a darker green. So don't worry if your colours do bleed, there are ways to fix them and I will show you how. So I've just let the lemons dry again and I am just going to go in with that dark yellow once more. Sorry, a different yellow. Uh, this is a brownie yellow that I am using just for around the edges and then later on I will blend in. And... For these brush strokes, I am using a combination of different brush strokes and just got a little bit of bleeding there, so just picking it up with some paper. I will be using some dotting motions to add a little bit of texture and then blending them out. And I'm also using some backward forward brush strokes as I go as well. And now I'm just going to clean my brush and grab some more of that lemon yellow just to blend out that brown that I have used on the bottom. And we are actually going to use the same process on all of our lemons. So now we are just going back in and working on the leaves. I have let the leaves dry while I was working on that lemon and I'm just going in with that dark green that we were using earlier for the edges. And now that I've done that, I am going back in and working on the lemon. And again, I am just going back in to work on the leaves with that darker green, just filling in those finer details around the edges and in the middle. And for the finer details of the leaves, I'm just using uh, back and forward strokes, particularly for the finer details. And here I am just working around that spot where the yellow has bleeded over the leaf. And again just doing the edges of the leaves with that darker green. Have you hit the like button down below yet? If not you really should because that will really help me out and will let me know that you like content just like this one. And therefore I will make more videos like this. So if that's something you would like to see, give this video a thumbs up down below. So for these finer, finer details on the painting, I am just using my aqua watercolour brush, which is a watercolour brush that you can fill with water. As you can see here, I'm squeezing it out to get the paint wet. And these are available in a variety of stores including Amazon and they are really cheap to pick up and you can also get them in a set which comes with a variety of sizes and 
yeah, laser brushes are also really great if you're travelling or if you're just not working at your desk and you don't have any room for uh, two jars of water these brushes are a really great substitute for that and they're really good for beginners to learn water control as well and here you can see I'm just going over that leaf and cover it up a little bit of yellow that's bleeded into it and the same here with this one, I've just used some paper towel to pick up a little bit of yellow and now I'm just going over those areas with the dark green to work in the shadows and I'm concentrating around the edges of the leaves as well once again. So I'm just going to continue on working on the finer details of these leaves here. So I'm just concentrating on the outer lines once again and then I'm going to blend in a little bit on the leaves as well with the darker green. You don't have to use these brushes that I'm using, uh, any fine tip watercolour brush will work. So if you don't have these particular brushes, do not worry, just get out your finest brush that you have in order to do these details works. The same thing goes for the paints, you don't have to have the full wizardly watercolour set like I do. Uh, just use whatever watercolours you have on hand, even if it's one of those children's sets from the discount store. I just happen to have these. Uh, as I brought them years ago because I was studying a Bachelor of Fine Art degree but uh, the materials you use doesn't matter, it's how you use them. So I'm just finishing up here on the last minute details of this painting. Again just working with that darker green around the edges of the last leaves here and then I will add in some more veins of the leaves to make them more pronounced. Have you checked out the description box down below yet? If not, you should when this video is finished because I put information in there about this tutorial such as the materials and I also provide links to my Instagram account where you can see other pictures of my creations. So to clean these brushes that I'm using, you just use paper towel like I was showing here and just squeeze the water out as you go to clean the paint off. It may take a couple of times to get the paint off. So I'm just going in doing any uh, last minute details such as blending out the colours. Here I'm just using that uh, darkish brownish yellow just to fatten up the lemon a little bit more and to do a little bit more shadow work and there I am again just using another dark yellow again just to really make the outer edges of the lemon a little bit more pronounced with the darker shadows. So we're just going to finish up here. Uh, please let me know down in the comments below what tutorial you would like to see next. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button down below if you have liked this tutorial. I am currently working on watercolor tutorials and I'm currently posting once a week, usually midweek on a Tuesday, Wednesday. So we're just going to continue on working on doing the shadows for the lemons here, just using that uh, darker yellow in the Wizard of the Copper watercolour set. And again, just using my aqua water brush, just really trying to focus in on those last minute finer details of the painting. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me down below 
and as long as they're art related and hopefully I should be able to help you out. I'm just going to finish up the painting here. As you can see, just working on the lemons and the flower. I'm just dotting uh, the center with the yellow that I use for the lemons. So we're just going to finish up the leaves here with that dark green. And just really try to work on those finer details and the blending of the leaves. So we've now finished our painting, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and there is also a subscribe button link in the bottom of the video, I believe it should be in the right hand corner and please do check out the description below to check out the materials you will need for this and the links to my Instagram account and other information and don't forget to hit the bell and the notification button so you get notified of my videos. Bye bye, see you next time.